Hey family, it's your favorite cousin Danny on a dollar here and I'm back again with another video. Today we are going to be assembling a 100 envelope challenge box today. Something a little bit different for my channel, but I really wanted to do this challenge and I just wanted to show you a cheap and easy way of doing it. Here I'm just showing you the materials that I'm going to be using for this challenge box. It will require you to need tape, a pencil, scissors, a little bit of money as I'm showing you right there to measure, and also some paper pad or cardstock. I got this at Michael's for a dollar and eighty cents. Um, and you also need a ruler in order to measure out um, each envelope. In order for me to figure out um, how to measure out each envelope, I used the money that I had. Um, to mark off the measurements of it and then I use my ruler in order to um, draw my lines work to where I need to cut. Um, I would say this <laughs> process has been really tedious however I felt like um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was initially going into it. Now this idea is not mine guys. I've been inspired by other budgeters who have used um, their time and effort into making a challenge box as well particularly um beauty budgets this is her method of making the 100 envelope um challenge box if you would like to see her video i'll link her channel below for you guys to watch i also um, was inspired by two moms budget to actually do um, a challenge box on my own instead of um, trying to save up to buy one because they can be pretty costly if you know you're low income and you really don't have it to um budget out one so i thought this would be a great option for me now guys you do not have to do this i just wanted it for the for the aesthetics you can go to walmart and get you those little colorful ones if you're feeling colorful get you them colorful envelopes they got number them for less than six dollars less than six bucks guys or you can use plain envelopes get them from the dollar store if you want but i thought this would be a nice box to have in order to keep me motivated and saving for this since i feel like this is more of a long-term savings challenge versus other savings challenges that i've done in the past or that i'm currently doing right now so basically you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just measuring out the money that I had. I folded it in half and then I folded the paper in half as well. And I cut along the lines, lining up both envelopes to make sure that they are equal. After I've cut my um, envelopes out and I've folded them in half um, to mimic um, how the small envelopes will look, I'm going to tape the size with regular scotch tape, guys. Yes, just regular scotch tape. I'm, I'm showing you here how I did that. Basically, I lined up the tape on the side and I make sure, sorry for my ashy hands, <laughs> I made sure that it doesn't go over on the bottom and I'm basically just clipping off the excess on the top of the envelope. Um, later on, I'll show you um, how up close how I did this. Also, guys, I did run out of this particular cardstock. It literally only made me four, 40 envelopes. Yeah. So I debated if I should actually get that kind or just use what I have at home. And that's exactly what I did. So this is the cardstock I had at home. I did also get this from Michaels. It was like a pack of 50 for under six bucks. Um, but Michaels also sells cardstock in individual pieces from it ranges from 79 cents to a dollar 99 so if that's an option that you want to choose definitely go for it i used about 10 um car stock um papers for this particular um challenge so i think it's best that you go for the pack that i got which was under six dollars if you are looking to make a lot of them
So I'm just basically cutting out all of the lines that I created. Um, I did not mention that I um, did fold the paper in half before I measured out. It just makes it easier for me. I know in the smaller cardstock, I was not able to do that because it was so small. Um, but on this particular one, I was able to fold it in half and it came out to be three envelopes from one cardstock. So guys, after you have completed the amount of envelopes up to 100, you are going to then number each envelope from the between the numbers 1 through 100. So um, if you're wondering about this box, I got it from the happiest place on earth, which is the dollar store. And I was able to um, use a box that I already had in the house. So I did not have to um, go out and buy another one. but um if you needed this box you can definitely find it at the dollar store one pro tip when you're picking the cardstock i would suggest picking a cardstock with a um print or some type of um color on it as you can see the the plain colored um envelopes are very visible so i would definitely suggest getting one with a pattern in order to camouflage that tape but it doesn't really bother me that much it is what it is um so yeah and that is all for my video today guys thank you guys so much for joining me today and if you haven't already please click the subscribe button in order to join our family we would love to have you we are cousins over here and i will see you guys in my next video bye